<laughs> so, Starfield coming to PlayStation is apparently false. <laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five, hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What? Starfield coming to PlayStation is false. Look, Microsoft uh, bringing um, the only the only way I saw Starfield going to PlayStation, unless Game Pass is involved. That was the only way I seen it happening. Okay. Um, look, like I said, like I told people before, it's a game. It's a get the entire world run on Windows. The entire video game industry runs through Microsoft. I told you it's a Game Pass world, and so we're living in it. And remember, I said like if Microsoft was giving out contracts, and they were like trying to put Game Pass on anything, on anything. So that means they're it's like they're trying to bring everybody all together, all, all on the one roof to play. The only way, the only way I saw Starfield going to PlayStation or Nintendo. Unless Game Pass is involved, man. <laughs> you know? And um, this notion that the console war is over, the console wars are never over, okay? This, vid this video game market is very, very competitive. Look, <clears throat> me personally, I didn't like the fact, I didn't like the fact that, um, that uh, Microsoft took Ori and put it on Nintendo. Because putting or put, taking Ori and putting it on Nintendo would be would be like Nintendo taking Mario and putting it on Xbox. I didn't like that move to this day. Look, Nintendo pushes uh, PlayStation and Microsoft to do better. PlayStation push Nintendo and Microsoft to do better. Microsoft pushes uh, PlayStation and Nintendo to do better. That's how it works. So the console, the console war is, is alive and well. Anybody who took, if Phil Spencer told you that the console war is over, nonsense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The console war is is, is 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 alive and well. This this video game market is very very competitive. You have to maintain you have to make it maintain your competitive edge in this video game industry. Okay? You have to. So. When I, when I heard news of Mike Starfield going to PlayStation, I'm like, the only way I saw that happening, unless Game Pass is involved, man, <laughs> that's the only way, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I, I even told you, Nintendo's, uh, the, 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 the Switch would, be, would have to be up to par to run that type of game, okay? Yeah, look, Microsoft was, was giving out 10-year contracts, right? All over the place. They were spreading the wealth all over the place. <laughs> they were giving, giving, giving them ten-year contracts. Okay, so I was, me, I was thinking like, okay, maybe that's the, maybe that's the only way. Like, you know, some of Microsoft games like probably go to Nintendo or something. But no, nah, you don't take, you don't take, <laughs> you don't take Starfield. That you just, the game, the company that you just bought for seven point five billion, uh, with your own money. You don't you don't take that you don't take Starfield and put it on the competitor's platform. No. Nah. <laughs> that game is yours. You spent your money for that, okay? <laughs> so, uh, uh, the same the same goes for Elder Scrolls 6. The same goes for Elder Scrolls 6, man. Um, you just don't do that, man. You know, you just <laughs> you you as a console as a console maker, you have to maintain your competitive edge. And the, in this console market, you just have to. And that's just, that's the way the video game industry is. Okay, listen to this. <laughs> says here, uh, says here, uh, report of Starfield coming to, to PlayStation Five are apparently false. Over over the last week, report broke that Microsoft has a new vision for Xbox, and it would bring games like Starfield, High Fire Rush, Indiana Jones, and the Great Circle and uh, Sea of Thieves to PlayStation and even Nintendo Switch in some cases. Well, it seems the report of Starfield coming to whoops, uh, the se it seems the report of Starfield coming to PlayStation 5 are apparently false, as known insider Nate the Hate claims. Initially, Nate the Hate heard that Starfield would land on PlayStation, 
But after checking it with sources, it turns out the information surfacing online is false. What still remains accurate is that Microsoft will uh, bring games multi-platform and it will likely be on a case-by-case -case basis. Remember, <coughs> remember, um, <laughs> remember when they bought ZeniMax Bethesda? They were like, oh, we're dealing with games on a case-by-case -case basis. Anyway, says here, uh, over the course of the week, I rechecked the info mentioned below and the information suggesting Starfield was PlayStation bound is false. I will not delete the tweet. I will own the mistake. <laughs> a previous report from January discussing Microsoft bringing games multi-platform remains. This is our Nate the Hate tweet. <laughs> okay? And then the first tweet was like, this report is accurate. Starfield will land on PlayStation. <laughs> I heard similar but opt to wait on reporting this information until the PS5 release timeline was finalized. <laughs> As report states, uh, P the PS5 will, will come after the PS5 release will come after the arrival of expansion DLC on Xbox PC. So <laughs> the, the 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 first tweet I already read, but the last one was the first uh, with the very first tweet that Nate that he put out on this matter. But then it says uh, Phil Spencer put out a statement sharing they will provide an accurate update on on details regarding the, ver the vision for the future of Xbox next week. At this point, it's hard to put a finger on what Microsoft is is a uh, finger on what Microsoft is actually thinking, and we have to wait until the official announcement is made from the company. Look, man. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, um, check your check your sources and do your research, man. Um, look, the only way I saw start. Look, I told you guys last week. <laughs> I told you guys this. Uh, <laughs> I told you guys this uh, last week. The only the only way I saw a uh, Starfield go into PlayStation or Nintendo, unless Game Pass is involved, man. <laughs> that was the only way. <laughs> if not. <laughs> Forget it, man. Look, Phil Spencer saying that the console wars is over. Look, the console wars are, is never over. You have to maintain, in this video game console market, you have to maintain your competitive edge in this video game market. Okay? Competition is what drives the market, so you have to main maintain your competitive edge. And, um, you know, taking some of your games and then Taking your games and putting it on the consoles, uh, putting on putting on the uh, competitions, uh, uh, competitions platform, it it kind it kind of weakens you a little bit. So you have to maintain your competitive edge, you know. Um, like I told you, I never liked the fact that uh, Sea of Thieves, I'm uh, not Sea of Thieves, but uh, Ori One and Two was on the Switch. I never liked it. You should that gave th those two games. Actually, there's three of them, because uh, there's there's Ori and then there's another. I think there's Ori Definitive Edition, then there's Ori the uh, the Will of the Wisp. Those those games should have stayed on Xbox only, man. I'm just saying, you know. I know it. It sounds good that it's it, it might sound good that you're taking some of your some of your games and putting it on the con on the um on the competition's uh, platform, but it weakens you a little bit in, in this market, you know, it, it weakens you a little bit. So you have to, you have to maintain your competitive edge in this video game market, man. You know, and, um, and you have to keep games, you have to keep some game, you have to keep, keep games on your consoles exclusive so you can maintain, so, so you can maintain, maintain your rate, your relevancy in this market. You have to. So, yeah. Um, well, uh, man, that if Starfield would have landed on PlayStation, man, that would have been that would have hurt Microsoft. You know, that would have hurt them. That would have hurt them, man. <clears throat> you know, that would have hurt them. But I, I, but then again, I kind of understand the idea of trying to put Game Pass on everything, <clears throat> and then try to like bring everybody together all under one roof, so everybody so, so everybody can play. And then I, I was saying that crossplay might be involved. I understand, I understand it, but but still. You still have to maintain uh, your competitive edge in this market. You have to. It's the it's the video game market. It's the video game world. The console wars. 
are never dead. Make, make, make no mistake about it. The console wars are never dead. It's alive and well. <laughs> so yeah, um, um, I hope, uh, I hope Microsoft, uh, I hope Microsoft learns. I hope they learn from this. I hope they do. Okay. Um, the other thing I didn't like too is when they got rid of the, um, the the physical physical uh, physical game department. Talking about they trying to go all digital. Look, you're always you, you got to have something physical out in this world. It can't just be all di digital. You got to have something physical, you know. So uh, there's some people they like digital games. There's some people that like physical games only. And then you got uh, the other people that like both physical and digital. So you have to, as a console maker, you have to you have to take care of the needs of those people. You just have to. So. My, um, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft need to really sit, the, he the heads at Microsoft need to really sit down around the table and get this matter straightened out, you know, because you have to take care of these, uh, these gamers needs. I know that, I know the idea of, di I, I know that during the, um, the pandemic, you guys made, made some, made some money off digital sales. Good for you. But I know the idea that, okay sounds good like going all digital but you got to remember that there's not a lot of people out there that have internet connections they might want to buy an xbox to, to play to play some games offline they do because they like xbox but they just can't afford the internet so you have to you have to take care of that so going digital it sounds good and all it sounds cool and all but in reality, you got to look at the world like, okay, there's some people that like physical. You got people that like physical games only. They don't want to have nothing to do with digital. Then you have people. Then you have people that like digital games. They don't want to have nothing to do with physical games, right? And then you have the other people now. They like both physical and digital. So as as a game, Phil Spencer needs to take care of the, all three of those people. So they can keep their uh, maintain their uh, their relevance in this game market, man. Yeah, you have to. This notion that you're just going you're going all digital. Yeah, you, I mean <laughs> that 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 only works digital <clears throat> uh, digital like um uh, like my, it, it, you might you might get get some positive gains from it, but it works like like during like the pandemic, for example, where you know, we could, there was no stores open, and the only way to get your games is digital. But in today's time, right now, like right now, and we have no pandemic. Oh yeah, you got to have both physical and digital, man. So they, um, the heads at Microsoft, really need to think this through. But other than that, man, um, I'm glad some truth came to this. You know, to clear this up. Now the Xbox fan can get a sigh of relief, or <laughs> of our relief. <laughs> and be like, okay, this is good to hear, you know, so yeah. But man, um, Starfield on PlayStation? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, man. X Xbox fans wouldn't, um, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't like that. <laughs> so yeah. But, other, um, but, but what this teaches you too, you know, what is, you know, what this, what this news also teach you too, is to check your sources, you know, check your sources, you know, and, um, you know, never be desperate. <laughs> uh, never be desperate to get uh, what's that? Likes, views, and clicks. Check your sources. Me, <laughs> that's why. That's why when I do this YouTube stuff, I always leave the article in the description box. Always do. <laughs> you know, so to show that that there is proof. I'm not just. I'm not just out here just rattling, running my mouth just to be running it. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> so yeah. Um, you know, uh, Starfield, uh, coming to PlayStation. Yeah, Phil Spencer, you got, you got some, you got some explanation to do uh, next week in your I Had a Dream speech. <laughs> so, yeah, um, other than that, man, um, yeah, game industry moves on, man, but, uh, the, I mean, the video game industry still runs through Microsoft because of the moves they were making. They, uh, they have, um... I mean, with all the moves they were making, and plus they got <laughs> Game Pass off the ground, man. Um, yeah, 
the gaming industry runs through Microsoft. So, I mean, they have they have to maintain their competitive edge, man. But but uh, putting your games on, don't take all your games, all your games, and put them all all on the platform, on the competition's platform. The competition needs to come up with their own games. Okay, so Nintendo needs to come up with their own games. PlayStation needs to come up with their own games. And Microsoft needs to come up with their own games. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the whole thing, though. Hope you enjoy the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek playing. Or Dark Side. Oh. Peace.